Hi viewers, this is Nick from TechnoProject.com and today I am going to show you the comparison between iOS 7 and iOS 8. So hope you like the video. Technoblogic.com. So on the left side you are seeing uh, iPhone 5 which contains iOS 8 and on the right hand side you are seeing iPhone 5C which contains iOS 7 which is not yet updated. So let's start the comparison. Firstly the lock screen. Both iOS 7 and iOS 8 has the same lock screen. There is no difference between them. Both shows slide to unlock and I just unlock both the devices. After unlocking there is no difference between the home screen but a little difference in the icon as you can see. Now we come to the notification bar as in iOS 7. There are three tabs on the top of the notification and no widgets available. Whereas in iOS 8 there are only two tabs and we can also add some of the widgets on it. Whereas on iOS 8 it is also possible to retire from the notification center or from the lock screen much like the Android devices as you can see. Now we come to the recent tab by double tapping on the home button and it just open. In iOS 8 it uh, now comes with the recent uh, call logs in and in iOS 7 it doesn't support any call logs. It just shows all the recent apps which we have used. Now we come to the keyboard as iOS 7 is having the old keyboard as if there is a regular keyboard in the old uh, iOS also and uh, in iOS 8 finally Apple has uh, opened up the API to developers so after 7 years user will be able to install a third party keyboard like swipe or swift key on their iOS devices which is a good news for the Apple users. You can install a third party keyboard by going into the setting then general then keyboards and uh, click on keyboards again and then click on add any third party keyboard and uh, now enjoy the keyboard now we come to the health kit which is uh, pre-installed after updating the iOS 8 which uh, allows user to monitor metric like heart rate, calories burned, slept, blood sugar and cholesterol it's also possible to create an emergency card detailing crucial facts like energies and blood type which can be accessed from the lock screen. Now we come to the app store as there is a major update in app store as there when we now search the uh, any application it shows trending search whereas in iOS 7 there is no trending search. As when we search in iOS 8 and I'm sure it shows in a vertical way whereas in iOS 7 it shows in the horizontal way. Now we come to the control center as in iOS 7 and iOS 8 there is a whole lot of a difference in the looks and the feel of the control center as you can see. Now we come to the camera as in iOS 8, the image quality of uh, the camera is increased and there is a new feature named as time lapse which you can use while making the video and when you come to the front facing camera they have uh, installed a new feature in it named as uh, self timer by using it you can uh, just set the time and click the pick. So these are the basic features which I have compared in the video and some of the other features which you can experience are the Safari browser. Safari has been given a number of improvements to help bring it up to par with the Chrome browsing app and uh, now we come to the mail. In your mailbox external messages can be marked up in red to make them easier to identify. Messages can be marked as read, unread or flagged with a swipe. And uh, now we come to Siri. Siri goes hand free. Siri is now always on, so you don't need to touch the home button to activate. 
hope you like the video so stay tuned and please you comment and subscribe to our channel and do visit our website www.technologic.com thank you